Not sure which Squarespace template is right for you? Have you heard that picking the wrong template could limit you down the road? Not to worry, I have helped literally thousands of people to build their websites on Squarespace and I will happily help you in this video too. Now, in order for you to understand how to correctly pick a Squarespace template, it's important that you understand how other people are choosing templates and how they're all doing it wrong. Let's go into the laptop and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so what you wanna do is head to squarespace.com and then up here, you are going to select templates. Now, if you want to do me a solid, you can also click the affiliate link in the description below and start your trial from there. My Margarita Fund really thanks you for that. Okay, so what most people do when they come to this page is they use the prompts at the top, which is technically logical. And they think like, okay, I'm a local business. Maybe I'm a florist and let me see which one would be appropriate? Oh, here we have fresh flowers for any budget. And so they preview this one and they think like, okay, I'm a florist. This is clearly the demo content shows a florist website. So therefore this must be the right template for me. Alternatively, if you have a e-commerce store, for example, then people basically only look at all the options that show something being sold. So for example, if you are a clothing company, you might see this one and be like, oh, perfect, it shows clothes. I guess this one can have a shop. And so therefore I'm going to choose this template. But the issue which happens is this, is all the other florists in your town, all the other online shops are doing the exact same thing that you're doing, especially if you're a local business, this is a real issue. If you're like, I'm a restaurant, and let me find a Squarespace template with an example of the demo content that is a restaurant. The problem is this, is that people go in and they maybe swap in their own photos or maybe like change the text to be their text, but they kind of leave everything like in the demo and they're not really getting creative with the layout or the design or anything like that. And so once they go and use this template, they think like, my website looks a lot like the template. And the problem is, is that again, the other florists in your town are doing the exact same thing. So your website suddenly starts looking creepily similar to the other florist websites in your area. And that's not really what you wanna go for. So my encouragement for you is this, do not pick the template based off the example demo content. If it fits what your business is, that's almost a reason to not use it because that's probably what all your competitors are doing. Instead, what I do want you to do is this. Let's say, I'm gonna go back to all templates. And then as we scroll through, what I want you to look for is the vibe and the style that you're looking for. So the reason for this is, is that when it comes to creating your website, if you choose it based off the style, so all the style settings are set inside automatically. Let me show you this one. So let me start with this design. And so what's already been set here for you is like the font styles, the colors, the spacing of things, those bits and pieces are all already set in the style editor. And so what you want to do when you're building your website is to add in your own content. And I don't want you to just follow the like, okay, well they have a photo here and they have text here. So I'm just gonna swap in my own stuff because then yes, your website looks exactly like the template because you just use the template layout. Instead, I want you to create a new section. Let me show you right here. If I click on edit and I click on add a section, and a blank section. I want you to use a blank section and then add your content in. And the reason for this is, is that again, your content will guide the look and layout and design of the website. If you ever work with a web designer or when web designers work with clients, they are not just going based off like the pre-done layout. They are creating the website based off the content, not trying to like squish the text into a certain area that's been like created in the pre-done layout. But coming back to my point on you want to choose the website based off the site styles. Yeah, I'm gonna come back over here and go into design and site styles. And then in here, you have the option to change a bajillion things. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change all the bits and pieces. Really, you can change pretty much everything. <laughs> the reason to pick the template based off the styles and not the demo content is one, other people aren't gonna be thinking to do this. Your website's not gonna look like everyone else's in your industry and in, in your local area. And two, because it just takes you way less time to actually fiddle around with all the site styles and settings. So if you really love the vibe and the look of the style of this website, of this template, then it just means that you're gonna spend less time going through the bajillion font options, going through all of the different color settings and everything and all the different button styles and bits and pieces. It just means that you're gonna spend less time changing the styles of the website. The other thing which I want you to understand is that you could technically take one template and make it 100% into another template. What I mean by that is 
there are no certain features or functionality which are only available in one template which aren't available in another one. If I literally took all of the content from this website right here, the Eldridge template, if I took all of this content, all the site styles, the colors, the everything, I could then recreate the exact Eldridge template on the Aduma template, for example. So again, you are not limited on features or functionality or layout or anything based off the template. So truly once you choose the template, you have complete freedom with what it's going to end up looking like. The thing is again, just choose it based off the styles that you like the most because it just means less time with actually building and designing the site. Now you know how to pick the right template, there's still one rather large task in front of you. And that is learning how to actually use Squarespace and build your website on the platform. Lucky for you, I put together a Squarespace crash course video. Watch this video next and you will be navigating around the Squarespace editor as if you've done it for years.